So believe it or not, I had a lot of people request that I make a video on Logan Paul's friend, Dwarf Mamba, who just came out and opened up about his mental health and his depression. He was recently on the Logan Paul podcast, and oh my God, when I watched this video, I was like, this right here, this right here, if you're struggling with depression, this is one of the best videos of 2019. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take different topics from the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can pull from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. And something that I'm extremely passionate about is mental health. So if you're into any of that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And yeah, in this video we're gonna be talking about depression quite a bit and depression feeds into anxiety. And speaking of anxiety, my brand new book, Rewire Your Anxiety, is out now in both ebook and audiobook format. And until Sunday, I'm running a sale, so if you get a copy of Rewire Your Anxiety, you get any of my other books, one copy of those, for free. Pretty sweet deal. So make sure you check out the description and the pinned comment down below. All right, so yeah, let's talk about Dwarf Mamba and what's been going on with him and see what lessons we can take from it. Like, if you're like me, I've struggled with depression and anxiety for many, many years, all right? And seeing Dwarf Mamba talk about this, I'm like, oh my God, dude, preach it. All right, so just to give you a little bit of a backstory, if you're not familiar with Logan Paul and Dwarf Mamba and their whole crew and everything like that, uh, Dwarf Mamba has been, you know, one of Logan Paul's best friends. I believe they were roommates too. And yeah, they started out on Vine, and then when Logan Paul made the transition over to YouTube, Dwarf Mamba was all up in there all the time and everything, and it kind of disappeared. Well, anyways, recently, I had a lot of people say, yo, did you listen to this podcast? Because I, I check out the Impulsive podcast from Logan Paul every now and then, but like not all the time. And yeah, um, Dwarf Mamba was recently on there, and he got really vulnerable and talked about his mental health and everything like that on that and I had a lot of people message me about it. Well anyways, Dwarf Mamba just went on his own channel to open up and talk about his depression, all right? And there's so much, so much that we could take from this. I just felt lost and I felt like there was just no one that could help me. I feel like no one was understanding what I was going through because being a uh, little person in an average person world, no one would get it, you know? No one would understand. But after that podcast, I realized that I need to be thankful for the people that I have around me that are willing to help me. And instead of just running away from them, just talk to them. So I think the biggest, the biggest takeaway, the biggest takeaway from this entire video, and I'm spoiling you by starting this video out by letting you know what it is. The biggest takeaway is looking at our own terminal uniqueness, right? So for example, like Dwarf Mamba talks about how he felt like nobody understood him. Nobody understood what he was going through because he hangs out with all these other people. People don't understand what it's like to be his size and know what it's like to go through what he's been going through. But he starts to realize that everybody's been through stuff, right? And this is something that I had to learn and I hope you learn it as well. This is a lie that our depression, our anxiety will tell us. It will tell us that nobody understands what we're going through because it wants to separate us from other people who can help us. So for me, for example, I stayed sick for many years. Not only was I struggling with depression and anxiety, but I was in active drug addiction for almost a decade, okay? And I thought nobody can help me, nobody can talk to me because nobody understands what I've been through. Nobody understands what it's like to grow up with an alcoholic mom for the first 20 years of my life. Nobody understood what it was like to grow up as me, to start developing symptoms of depression and anxiety at such a young age. Nobody understood that, right? And these were lies that my brain was telling me so I wouldn't connect with other people. And something that helped me out just tremendously, tremendously, was starting to realize that human suffering is part of the human experience, right? We all go through suffering, okay? It doesn't matter these little nuanced things of have you been through this or have you been through that? Like, here's the thing. If you've ever experienced mental and emotional pain, I get it. I've been there too. And we can talk about it, all right? And I'm so glad that Dwarf Mamba 
came to that realization and he got that clarity that other people get it. And in his case, what happened was, since he opened up about it, he got flooded with messages and DMs, right? Some of them were from uh, other people who are dwarfs as well and understand that, but a lot of other people we're just like, yo, like, even though I'm not, like, I understand those feelings. I understand that pain. You know what I mean? This is why I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get involved with support groups, right? Whether it's support groups, like, in your city or just online. Like, join a Facebook group. It is so beneficial to just know that we're not alone. Also had a lot of anger inside. Um, well, have some anger inside now, but I'm helping my... Uh get past that but yes yeah, just angry at the world angry at people who didn't understand what where I'm coming from and it was also ruining the relationships that I have with people who I love and are very close to me I also lost a relationship to a very close friend of mine because of my anger and my attitude that I had in certain situations. So I can relate to that so much as well. Like I used to have so many anger issues. Like in fact, my last book was called Rewire Your Anger because anger absolutely ran my life. And you might be able to relate to this, right? Where depression or anxiety fuels anger. And a lot of it is because we just don't know how to cope with it. Like in my case, like I was angry that the rest of the world was so happy, right? I was angry that I was dealt such an awful, awful hand in life. And I hated other people for that. I would just snap and explode and blow up on people, right? But part of it was too, not only did I hate other people, but I also hated myself. You know what I mean? So part of my mental health journey, and this is something we all need to work on, is self-love and self-compassion, right? And also self-acceptance, just learning to accept who we are, you know what I mean? I've been waking up every day, forcing myself to work out and forcing myself just to have a positive attitude. Whether whether or not it doesn't feel right, it is right. And I used to think like waking up, being positive all day, you know, that was cheesy, that was that was just stupid, you know? I'm, I'm living in a world that has all these things, you know, I, I feel like I, I had to be negative, you know? That's not healthy. It's not good. And now that I've been waking up in a positive mood, going out, getting things done, working out, I feel fantastic. All right, right there, right there, that clip right there, like I absolutely love it. Just love it. Aside from the whole terminal uniqueness that I talked about in the beginning, like that is one of the best things. Because here's the thing, part of depression is a lack of motivation. We don't want to do anything. And I love, I absolutely love how Dwarf Mamba talked about how he's just had to force himself to do things, all right? Like sometimes the biggest task in the world can seem like just getting out of bed, all right? Like something I talk a lot about in my books is like these baby steps. Just take these baby steps because we get flooded with so much information and so many suggestions like do this, do that, like go exercise, go do yoga, right? Go to therapy, go take medication, like whatever it is, right? And a lot of times we just have to start with one thing. For me, when I first started working on my mental health, like the one thing I had to do that I forced myself to do every single day was just take a shower. That was it. Like if I could just get myself to get out of bed and take a shower, that was a su successful day. And here's the thing, like for other people who don't struggle with depression or anxiety, like that seems like, what? Like, oh, okay, you just did that one thing. But like for us, that's a big deal. But Dwarf Mamba, like he's been killing it, right? He has been killing it. And he gives so many suggestions about what you could start doing as well. Like he started to get physically active because something he was struggling with was isolating. So he's getting out, getting about. And even if he doesn't like to, you know, go outside or go to the gym that specific day, he talks about how he'll just like do some jumping jacks in the house or do some push-ups in the house just to get that blood flowing. But you also need to understand that exercise, moving, this all triggers like endorphins, serotonin, so many things. So just start to move a bit, okay? But then he also talks about how he was, he started to read, okay? And one of the books that he talks about is like The Four Agreements, like everybody loves that book. One of my old clients actually gave me that book and I still need to read it but I do highly recommend that as well. Like for a lot of us, like we don't like going out, we don't like hanging out with friends and things like that, but just do something for
for your mental health and sometimes it's educating yourself about different techniques that you can start using, all right? And books have saved my life. I personally just love being educated about mental health, psychology, neuroscience, all those things, all right? Like, something we need to start doing is when we're taking breaks or we're having some of that leisure activity, some of it should be to gain more knowledge and strengthen our mind, especially when it comes to improving our lives. Also, please do not be scared to talk to someone. Please do not. You know, I was scared to talk to my parents about it. I was scared to talk to Logan about it. I was scared to talk to anyone that was really, really close to me. It was hard to just talk about these things. And I was scared to talk about these things because what if they look at me different? What if they don't accept me who I was before? But those are just stupid thoughts that I have and that's and that's where the negativity came in also. Still right now, I'm, uh, I have negative thoughts, but I'm but I'm catching these negative thoughts. They get you nowhere. Being negative obviously gets you nowhere. And I know society portrays this perfect life you see on TV or on, on TV shows and movies. That's not what life is. So yeah, I love how he talks about how he was so afraid to talk to other people. And this is something, again, it's a lie that our brain tells us to separate us from other people like Dwarf Mambo didn't want to talk to Logan Paul about it. He didn't want to talk to his other friends or his family members about this. And we feel embarrassed, but here's the thing, like we've all been through it. We've all been through that dark space. Like, I don't care what you see on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, people living their quote unquote best life or whatever it is. Like we've all been through a struggle and there are people there who are willing to listen. All right, so make sure that you open up. Don't be embarrassed, don't be shy about it. Like there might be some people out there, like you might have some like jerk uncle who's like Mr. Manly Man, and he's like, don't talk about your feelings, all right? Well, screw that dude, okay? <laughs> Find people who are willing to be open and honest about their experience as well. I have given up um, marijuana in my life right now. Some people, it, it might help. Like obviously medically, uh, anxiety, but if you're using it to numb out, to cope with things, you're not using it in the right way. I, same with alcohol, not really same with alcohol, but people use it to abuse themselves and distract the feelings that they are facing or the challenges they are facing. Again, that's not healthy. So the last thing I wanna talk about is that clip right there. And the, yes, part of it is because I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic and I've worked in addiction treatment and I'm a sober coach and all that stuff. But he talks about quite a bit about how he was self-medicating with marijuana and booze. And much like Dwarf Mamba said, like, I don't have anything against smoking pot. I don't have anything against drinking alcohol. Like for me personally, as a recovering addict, I can't do those things. But like, he came to the realization that he was doing it to self-medicate. He was doing it to numb himself. He was doing it to get out of his head, all right? Like there's substance use and then there's substance abuse. So what Dwarf Mamba is actually doing is he's retraining his brain to do healthy coping skills rather than these toxic ones, all right? Because what happens is like, did you know the leading cause of addiction is an untreated or an undiagnosed mental illness, such as depression, such as anxiety, because so many people self-medicate. Because when you're self-medicating, if every time you're feeling sad or lonely or anxious or whatever it is, and you turn to a substance, you're training your brain that that is the solution. And something that happens is you cross this invisible line where you completely lose control. So I'm so glad that he's getting so many views on this and he's open and honest about how he was self-medicating and it was not the solution because we turn to it as a solution, but it ends up causing even more of our problems. You know what I mean? But anyways, I'm gonna link that video down below. Like, check it out. It is so inspiring, so awesome, and I can't wait to see him on his journey. I don't know if he's gonna be, you know, doing more stuff with Logan Paul and, you know, the Impulsive Podcast or anything like that, but I can't wait to see. It's so, so, so awesome. All right, but anyways, don't forget, down in the description, down in the pinned comment below, if you struggle with anxiety or hell, if you know somebody who struggles with 
anxiety, let them know that Rewire Your Anxiety is out now and I got a sale going on until the end of this week. So make sure you go check it out. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you'd like to support what I'm doing here and get access to some other perks and benefits, like my books, all of my books for free, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.